We have just finished two years of full-time traveling and I thought this would be a great time to tell you about our best experiences as we have traveled around the world. We are slow travelers, we're traveling the world at a snail's pace, we don't try to rush from place to place, and we're not trying to go to as many countries as we can. We spent our first year in South America where we visited the countries of Peru, Chile, Argentina, Uruguay, and Brazil. And for our second year, we've been traveling in Southeast Asia, visiting Myanmar, Thailand, Laos, Cambodia, and Malaysia. So let's take a look at our top 25 adventures as we have traveled around the world. Starting with number 25, this was tubing in Vang Vieng in Laos. River tubing is always fun, but here the river flows through some amazing scenery. We also went cave tubing as well, and this was our favorite activity in Laos. Number 24 was visiting the villages on Lake Titicaca in Peru, and when I say on the lake, I mean in the lake. These villages are built on islands made out of grass reeds that float out in the middle of the lake. Number 23 is visiting a tea plantation in the Cameron Highlands in Malaysia. Look at how beautiful this is, but it's not just beautiful to look at, but also good to taste the delicious tea right from the source. Way up in the northeastern part of Thailand, you will find Chiang Rai, and this is where we visited the White Temple. This temple is both beautiful, but also a little bit bizarre at the same time, and there is definitely nothing else like this in the world. When we were in Mandalay, Myanmar, this Buddhist monk started a conversation with us and we just absolutely loved hearing about this monk's life story, his heritage, and his way of living. The Cologne Theater in Buenos Aires, Argentina is one of the world's greatest theaters. The concert we saw was great, but it's the theater itself that won the prize. One of the most beautiful buildings we've ever seen. The Coca Canyon in Peru is more than twice as deep as America's Grand Canyon and we really enjoyed hiking around the rim of the canyon, viewing the condors, and just admiring the fantastic views. Many say that Penang is the food capital of not just Malaysia, but Lonely Planet rated it the number one food destination in the world, and we think Penang is well deserving of this rating. The food here is just as diverse as its people and its culture. Up in the Andes near Cusco, Peru, we explored the Salineras, where we walked around the terrace salt ponds, saw the locals working to harvest the salt, and also bought some of the local salt to season our food. This was well worth the trip from Cusco. The huge snow-capped Orsono volcano sits on one of Chile's most beautiful lakes. There are rushing waterfalls, great national parks, and plenty of great hiking here. One of Rio de Janeiro's most popular activities is to take the gondola to the top of Sugarloaf Mountain, where we saw stunning views over the ocean and the jagged mountains that just protrude around the city. No trip to Myanmar is complete without visiting the amazing Shwedegon Pagoda in the country's biggest city of Yangon. It's authentic, stunning, and visiting here really feels like being in a fairy tale. The canyons, rock formations, and the gorges around Salta in the northwestern part of Argentina are breathtaking. The area also includes the salt flats called Salinas Grandes, which felt to us like a cross between a snow-covered landscape and a vast white desert. Mendoza is in the heart of Argentina's winery and grape region. In February and March of each year, the city celebrates the grape harvest with the Vendimia Festival. We saw parades, pageants, and a spectacular stage show that is so elaborate that many people say that it rivals the opening ceremony of the Olympics. The southern tip of South America is almost as close as you can get to Antarctica without actually going there, and here we visited one of the many penguin colonies where we got up close and personal with these amazing and fascinating creatures. Just outside of Chiang Mai, Thailand, we visited one of the many sanctuaries where elephants that have been saved from captivity have been brought for rehabilitation. We love the experience of preparing the food for the elephants, taking them on walks, feeding them, and bathing them in the nearby river. When I say the word desert, you probably think of the Sahara, but Peru has a desert where we went sandboarding down the dunes, took an exhilarating dune buggy ride that felt like a cross between a roller coaster and a race car, and also relaxed at the amazing and picturesque Huacachina, an oasis village in the desert completely surrounded by giant sand dunes of golden-colored sand. The Yi Peng Festival in Northern Thailand was an amazing experience. It started with releasing a floating basket in the river, 
but the highlight of the festival was releasing thousands of paper lanterns into the sky. This was traditionally done to celebrate the end of the monsoon season and the start of the cooler dry season, and this was an absolutely spectacular sight. Iguazu Falls are on the border between northern Argentina and southern Brazil. It is made up of between 150 and 300 separate waterfalls depending on the water level, and together they form the largest waterfall in the world. The Argentinian side of the falls gave us a great panoramic overview, while the Brazilian side let us get up close and personal with the water. We also took an exhilarating boat ride into the base of the falls themselves. The Anchor Archaeological Park in Cambodia is made up of about a thousand ancient temples that were once part of a massive city of a million people and it was 20 times larger than the size of London at the time. The most famous of these temples is Angkor Wat with its massive towers that dominate the skyline, but there are many more temples, many of which have been swallowed up by the dense jungle, which makes a visit feel even more exotic and captivating. We truly felt like we were in an Indiana Jones movie when we came here. The Perito Moreno Glacier in southern Argentina is absolutely stunning. The size of this glacier is almost too immense to describe, but to give you a rough idea, take the size of Manhattan Island in New York, double that size, then cover that entire land area with ice, and you've got the size of this glacier. It stands about as tall as a 24-story building, and when a chunk of ice would break off and crash into the lake, we would see the massive waves that were formed and heard the roaring sound that is just amazing. In July 2019, the countries of Chile and Argentina experienced a total solar eclipse. It was almost impossible to capture the magnificence of this experience in photos. First, the sun was slowly sliced away as the black moon positioned itself in front of the sun, and then totality hit, the landscape went dark, and the sky looked almost like night and day at the same time. Kind of hard to describe. This was an amazing experience that we really hope to see again someday. Patagonia in southern Argentina and Chile is absolutely stunning. First we saw the arid grasslands where wildlife roams around the winding creeks and rivers. Then we viewed the beautiful glacier lakes that have a beautiful milky turquoise color. We also explored caves, experienced beautiful waterfalls, but really the highlight of Patagonia is the magnificent mountains. The beauty of these massive granite pillars that tower out of the grasslands is just glorious. The Bagan Archaeological Zone in the country of Myanmar includes over 2,000 ancient temples scattered across 100 square kilometers. But we think the best way to see these temples is by taking a sunrise hot air balloon ride over the archaeological zone. This amazing experience lasted about 45 minutes and gave us a view that cannot be had any other way. Truly a fabulous experience. Machu Picchu in Peru tops our list of best experiences. Nowhere else on earth have we seen the combination of fantastic ancient ruins surrounded by breathtaking mountain scenery and the adorable alpacas roaming through the site added a special charm. If you ever have the chance to visit this amazing site, don't pass it up. You definitely won't regret it. So there's our top 25 experiences that we've had in our first two years of full-time travel. And we are excited because we know we have many more great experiences to come. If you've been to any of the places that we've mentioned in this video, please leave a comment below. We would love to hear your story. In the meantime, please subscribe to our channel and also be sure to take a look at our website at snailtravelers.com to find out more about our world travel adventure.